hello everyone uh, welcome to another video of uh, pmm alert management uh, today i wanted to mention that how you guys can configure uh, you know your contact point in the pmm alert manager uh, in last video uh, we didn't work on that we just configured like uh, how we can just add uh, how we can just create a new rules alert rules and how we can just uh, add it uh, a different templates uh, but today we are going to add a contact point where you just uh, configure an alert and then the alerts get received by some recipient uh, so that today we are going to uh, do that for the email alerts okay so we were going to receive an email once we get an alert okay so for that we are going to use the smtp provided by the uh, google which is uh, uh, smtp.gmail so we are going to use that uh, obviously you can add slack or you can use uh, the um, Microsoft Teams and there are so many things, so many contact points which you can use. So uh, before going to contact points, I have already added one confirm point for my testing. I'm going to delete that. Uh, so if you're going to add contact point, you have to uh, work on certain configuration. Uh, so before doing that, we are, we required uh, two settings. We required a uh, SMTP password, okay, which is provided by the Google. And then what we need is that uh, we need uh, uh, what is that? We need a Grafana configuration, okay? So we need to edit some Grafana configuration and after that, uh, we are going to uh, do that. So uh, let me uh, see what's my, yes, my, let's say my, okay, my Docker is running. And uh, after that, we are, before that, let's uh, go and just uh, get the Grafana, uh, sorry, the SMTP password. So for doing that, uh, you need to have an email. I have separate, uh, set up a new email address, okay? And uh, what uh, what we need to do is that we should have an app uh, password, which is SMTP app password. And for that, we need just need to go and uh, search here. Uh, before that, you should have a two-step verification on, on your email, whichever uh, email are you using. Uh, if you're using uh, any SMTP provided by your uh, services uh, inside your, let's say, in your infrastructure, you already have one, you can use that as well. It's, you just need a uh, SMTP uh, server link, okay? Uh, so let's say whatever it is, uh, any, you know, it is an IP or, you know, uh, host name or uh, let's say just uh, just an address you need okay and after that you need a user okay which email you're going to use uh, the sender the receiver and uh, obviously uh, you need uh, what is that uh, what you uh, what is you need is that password so i'm going to search for the app password okay uh, inside that password okay uh, what was the password of my <laughs> this email uh, let me see okay so let me log in because I'm just got kicked out. So uh, I just going to just use a custom. Okay, so uh, I'm going to use that uh, SMTP noise for the testing. Let's generate, and we are going to copy this password. Okay, uh, just copy this password and save it uh, somewhere. You are going to uh, need this password okay so i am saving it here and save it otherwise uh it won't it won't give it to you for the next time okay uh, if you don't for if you forget this password you need to just create the app again like just same like this so custom another app or just delete this one and create another one but you need to save the password because uh, you won't be given this password again and again so that is done okay uh, security alerts okay forget it uh, so now we have done that. So what next we need to do is that let's uh, connect to the Docker, okay, uh, in the bash mode uh, into that container, a PMM server container, and uh, let's go to cd slash etc uh, Grafana, okay, and then we need to vi that uh, Grafana dot ini file. So you won't have this configuration, okay? I will just uh, paste this configuration in the first commit and then. You can get it from there. Uh, SMTP, SM. So SMTP we have here, and and you just need to. Uh, I will show you the configuration. Obviously, uh, let me just paste the password here, which we saved. Okay, so this is the configuration, simple configuration. You need to provide the password here. Uh, cursor. Yeah, here is my cursor. 
so this is my smtp gmail uh, server uh, obviously you need to provide the port it will come like this okay 465 and then you need to provide the user uh, which is my email this is the password provided by the app smtp okay and this is the uh, movies uh, that is for from address okay so and this is the user provided by the smtp so uh, that's it okay you need to just keep the rest of the setting as default and you don't need to change the other settings uh, let me save it okay and then exit out of the grafana and you need to just uh, docker uh, restart pmm dash server so we need to restart our pmm server now once that is done okay uh, make sure your uh, pmm server comes back healthy so once that is done uh, i will just let you know guys back on this so i'm pausing the video till that okay uh, so now if you see my uh, docker is uh, healthy so let's go uh, and here so what we need to do is then come to alerting and just uh, add a contact point uh, let's add a new contact point uh, smtp maurice okay and just i need to just copy that email address and it should be here let's just copy that and put it here okay and just add the uh, save the content point <laughs> if your grafana smt server is not configured properly you will not be able to save the content point okay <coughs> so now that's uh, is saved now so let me just come here and just uh, see this did you see the alerts let me delete that one uh, this alert and uh, let's go to alert rules okay uh, add a new alert and i just want to have it my sql is down uh, 60 second duration and all that uh, the mysql folder inside and let's add a filter uh, service name operator match should be mysql one i don't need to check that one settings so save and exit okay so uh, obviously if you want to uh, test your uh, you know content point okay you need to just come here edit test the content point uh, send a test notification uh, it will send a test notification okay uh, that will happen as well test alert sent uh, let's close this okay and if you see here to me it's I sent a firing test alert okay so this is how it's going to uh, show up so now let's uh, go to the alerts okay and go to mysql okay and just sh shut down our MariaDB. Uh, after one minute or so uh, our MariaDB uh, is uh, is going to uh, our PMM is going to you know fire an alert uh, I didn't want to use the MariaDB here because I'm a fan of doc of uh, Procona server obviously but obviously I had to do some testing so for that I already had in uh, this uh, MariaDB because I was just doing some testing of PMM with the MariaDB so it's already there uh so let's wait for a couple of minutes okay because uh one minute uh because uh, it will wait for one minute then only the alert will get fired so i will show you guys how the alerts get fired and how it uh, comes to the mysql sorry the email so if you see the, our alert is uh, in pending state okay so it's just 19 seconds now and let me refresh it again and again 27 seconds uh so after 30 seconds obviously if after second 30 seconds it is going to uh let's just view 37 seconds and 41 second the minute it get fired because it waits for one minute so to make sure that the alert is triggered you know so it's not a false alert so that's why it's going to just wait for one minute uh, still there 56 seconds obviously almost reached so it's been one minute now and i'm pretty sure uh, if you go to fire alerts it's here now okay so it's active now and within a couple of seconds uh, you will receive an email uh, as well so let's wait uh, i know it's gonna take some time not too much but a couple of seconds come on
okay so you know you have a firing alert now uh for some reason i don't know my inbox was full so i have to delete so if you see here this is the kind of alert you get that uh, node name must equal one alerting one and service critical and pmm must equal is down so must equal uh must equal must equal one on must equal one is down mm -hmm. so that's summaries if you see here must equal down on must equal one so this is the instance name because the MySQL, uh, if you see here, the host name is uh, MySQL. So obviously that's how it's picking up the MySQL uh, alert. So that's it guys. This is how you get an alert. Okay. Uh, obviously you can just resolve or silent the alert. Uh, just start the MySQL and it will get resolved. Okay within 30 seconds it will get resolved so that's it guys thank you so much for watching the video if you like the video please share comment and uh, share with others thank you so much